I have to say this, that when I was six years old, I moved to Hot Springs, Arkansas, which was a metropolis by Arkansas standards. We had 35,000 people. And it was the first land set aside by Congress as a national reserve before there were any national parks under Andrew Jackson. Thomas Jefferson sent a friend of his from Mississippi to look at our hot springs. At the same time, he sent Lewis and Clark to map the way to the Pacific. Hernando de Soto came there in the 1600s, 16th century, 1543, and saw the Indians bathing in those springs and thought he had discovered the fountain of youth. Alas, I am evidence that he did not. <laughs> anyway, by the time I was a kid, it had the largest illegal gambling set up in America. And a lot of presidents came there, a lot of other politicians. And Harry Truman was the only one who didn't hide the fact that he enjoyed a good card game, which I really liked. <laughs> There's now a rather famous popular painting that I have a copy of, of all the former Democratic presidents going back to Andrew Jackson playing cards together. And Truman's at the center of it because he was the most serious card player. <laughs> but it's funny, it's Truman and Kennedy and Johnson and Carter and me and there's old Andy Jackson. I wouldn't have played cards with Andy Jackson. If you beat him, he'd challenge you to a drill, a, a duel, I think. But 